your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Good Tuesday morning to you. Shaped up to another chilly start out there this morning. Well below average, even now 59 degrees, the normal low for Florence. We're dropping down to 53 early this morning. We dropped all the way down to 49 in Lorenberg and 54 in Myrtle Beach. But these morning lows in the 50s and 40s, they're going to come to an end as we go through the week ahead. That's all thanks to high pressure that's supplying the cooler air mass for the past few days will gradually shift eastward. And as it does so, our cool northerly flow, taking in that cool air from the north all the way down to the south, will shift. More southerly winds out there for us through the middle and end of the week will bring a nice warming trend to come our way. And that high pressure continues to push off to the east, keeping us dry through Saturday. But Sunday to Monday, an approaching cold front will increase the cloud cover and increase the rain chances, especially for the beginning of next week. Look at the temperatures, though, going from below average in the early morning hours and the afternoon conditions getting well above average, looking at low to mid 80s for the rest of the week ahead after today. Average high for this time of the year for the 1st of October is 80 degrees. That'll actually uh, be seeing an end to those below average highs that we've been seeing and looking at above average highs for the rest of that seven day forecast. Along the Grand Strand, we'll stay just shy of those average highs today with a high in the upper 70s where the average high is 80 degrees. Tropics seeing a little more activity. We have Tropical Storm Jerry out in the Atlantic, not posing any threat to the East Coast. That'll be turning out to sea or even getting sheared apart before it has a chance to turn out to sea. Another wave in the Caribbean showing a medium potential for development. Forecast models all take it to the Gulf of Mexico. From there, there's a lot of uncertainty as to where it will head. So we'll be keeping a very watchful eye on that for you. And you can always get the latest in the tropics on your website, carolinalive.com, underneath the Hurricane Central page. For today, look for mostly sunny skies, a bit warmer than the past few, but still pleasant with low humidity and highs in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees down along the Grand Strand. 81 in Carolina Forest and Loris, 82 in Conway. We'll actually hit that 82 for a high in Ainer, Marion, Dillon, and Florence, up to 83 in Darlington, Hartsville, and Lake City. Rockingham, you'll see a high of 81. Tonight, it'll still be a cool night, but not as chilly as the past few. Certainly up several degrees from what you woke up to early this morning. Mid 50s for Lowe's Inland, upper 50s to around 60 degrees along the Grand Strand. From there, we start talking about those temperatures in the 80s for both the Grand Strand and the inland areas. Looking for a high of 82 on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Our warmest day on Saturday with mostly sunny skies. We'll see a high of 84. More clouds coming in here for Sunday, but only a slight chance of a few showers out there until we get into Monday with a 40% chance of a few more scattered areas of rain moving in with the approaching cold front. Wake up temperatures going from those 50s into the upper 60s for wake up temps this upcoming weekend. Inland areas, you'll see those wake up temps going from the mid 50s today to the mid 60s by Saturday night to Sunday morning. So a big change temperature wise after talking about some unseasonably cool weather for several weeks almost at this point. We're talking unseasonably warm weather for the rest of the week and into the upcoming weekend. And we're finally looking for a chance for rain back in the forecast for Sunday to Monday. And at this point, Sunday does not look like it's going to be a washout. So some good news there if you have Sunday plans at this point. But certainly a forecast to be keeping an eye on is that Sunday to Monday time frame. It does look like, though, well, it looks like we're going to have to turn the AC back on if you've turned it off like myself, unfortunately, with the warmer weather moving in. So have yourself a great Tuesday. Your latest news and weather updates can always be found on your website, carolinalive.com.